Hello and welcome, I'm Victoria, and today we're gonna make my favorite food in the whole world, potato salad. My classic potato salad recipe uses really simple ingredients, russet potatoes, hard boiled eggs, celery, onions, green pepper, and a mayo-based sauce packed with tons of flavor. So it's potato salad season, so let's get started. The presence of eggs in this recipe is really important. They bring some taste and texture, and they also add to the creaminess, which is one of my critical components of a potato salad. So it only calls for um, six uh, eggs, but I'm gonna go ahead and hard boil 12 because I love having them in the refrigerator um, during the week for salads. Now there are many different ways to hard boil eggs, and I'm gonna show you my version, and it's worked for me for years and years, comes out great every single time. But if you have your own way of hard boiling eggs, just go ahead and do that. The whole point is that we get the eggs hard boiled. Okay, now that the eggs are in the pan covered with about two inches of cold water, we're going to put them on high heat and bring them to a boil. Typically, I'll use the lid on the pan um, when I'm boiling any type of water, but with the eggs, I want to know exactly when they start to boil, and so I'm not using a lid. Yeah, it's going to take a little longer, but it's going to give me better eggs. And once they boil, then I'm going to turn them down to low for 14 minutes, and then I'm going to have hard-boiled eggs. Even though I have cooked eggs like this for, I don't know, 10 years and they always turn out, I always like to take one egg out before I turn off the heat and test it. So I'm going to cool it down with the cold water. And then I'm gonna peel real quick. I wanna see if my yolk is exactly the way I want it, perfectly cooked. Okay, and then I have my egg. I'm gonna cut my egg. And see what you can see, that's just about perfect. And the time it's taken me to do this, they've cooked a little more. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull them. I, I like the way that looks. So I'm gonna remove each egg, put it in this ice bath that I have prepared. It's gonna cool them down um, very quickly and help them to stop cooking as quick as possible. And it's gonna make them easier to handle when I peel them because they won't be hot. I have never found the perfect foolproof way to peel eggs and some eggs are easy to peel and some eggs are not, I'm gonna blame the eggs. It's all the eggs. So if you have some issues with peeling eggs, don't think it's you, it, it's the egg. The type of potato you choose for your potato salad is a very critical decision. If you do research on potato salad recipes, you're gonna find most of them are gonna say, use a waxy potato. They're not gonna tell you to use a russet. A few will, but they're hard to find. But I'm gonna tell you, don't use a waxy potato. I did that for years and I never had the creaminess I, I longed for. And then I started using the russets and they work wonderful. They're gonna give you the creaminess you want in your potato salad. It's that extra bit of starch that's going to help. But that extra bit of starch can hurt you too. That's why it's critical when you cut the potatoes and cook the potatoes that you do them in a very specific way so that you don't get a mushy potato salad. Nobody wants mush salad. Okay, first you wanna find out where your potato rolls and falls. That's gonna be the safest, best place to cut it. I'm gonna cut it in half lengthwise. Then I'm gonna cut it in, depending on the size of the potato, either in half or in thirds. And then I'm gonna lay it on its side, see how thick it is. And I didn't determine that I needed to cut it again. So I just went and sliced it into the three fourth, one half, three fourth inch, somewhere around there. Then we're gonna do the same thing with this one. We're gonna cut this in thirds, lay it on its side, and it's going to be fine. And cut like that. And these are two, so I'm just gonna do that. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of these potatoes and then we're gonna get them boiling. So I've added cold water to the pan, very important point, do not use warm water. It's about an inch or so over the top of the potatoes. And now I'm gonna salt it. It's about a tablespoon. You want a decent amount of salt in the pan with the potatoes because the potatoes um, aren't gonna have much flavor if you don't. 
So don't be afraid to add a considerable amount of salt. Like I said, about a tablespoon. Okay, I'm gonna bring this to a boil, and then once it comes to a boil, it's gonna cook anywhere from seven to 10 minutes, but we're gonna check for doneness at about five minutes. So the potatoes have been boiling for about five minutes at a hard boil, and now is the time to take your first taste test to see how tender they are. And from this point on, you are not to leave the stove. If you do, you may, not, you may have potatoes that are far too mushy. Okay, so I grab, I'm grabbing a piece, cooling it off a little. The best way to, to test this, I think, is eating it. I mean, you could pierce it with a knife or a fork, but eating it really is the best determining factor there. We're almost there. It's, it's got a softness to it, but there's still a bit of a hardness to it. I'm gonna let it go two or three minutes, try it again, and keep trying them until I feel that they are soft enough, but not too soft, and then we're going to strain. It's been about five more minutes and I just tested one. I'm gonna take a final taste test here. Very hot, very hot. Oh yeah, both are perfect. They've got a nice soft consistency. It's not hard to bite into, but there's still a little bit of resistance. Um, if I go any further, they're probably gonna to get too mushy. And then again, I'm gonna have much salad instead of potato salad. So I'm gonna get these off of the heat right now. I have strained the potatoes and now they need to sit for about 30 minutes to cool down. But here's a tip. If you put them, you spread them out on a sheet pan, they're going to cool a lot quicker than they would if they were sitting on top of each other in this colander. While the potatoes are cooling, it is the perfect time to make the sauce. In the bowl is two cups of mayonnaise and three tablespoons of plant-based sour cream, simple truth to be exact. And now I'm going to add some apple cider vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, onion powder and garlic powder, paprika, turmeric, and dry mustard, almost forgot that one. And what I add to every sauce, my secret ingredient, just a little dash of fish sauce. And the, the full recipe, you can find a link to it in the description below and I'll have all the exact measurements. So I'm just gonna mix this really well, get it all combined. Okay, the potatoes are nicely cooled down. I wanna emphasize that you should not make your potato salad with warm potatoes. What will most likely happen is when the sauce hits the hot potatoes, your, the mayonnaise in the sauce is gonna separate and you're gonna have a bit of an oily mess. So just make sure you cool them down. They don't have to be cold. They have to be right around room temperature, enough that they're not gonna start you know, cooking the sauce. So the next step is to add the veggies. I have celery. I'm gonna add a little bit at a time because I like to mix it up and see what my proportions are. I have a white onion and then green pepper, finely chopped. The green pepper brings a really interesting flavor to this uh, potato salad. So I'm gonna mix it up and see what my proportions look like. Okay, I think I'm gonna add the rest of the celery, a little bit more onion, and a little bit more green pepper. It's time now for the egg. And I have this, this little tool that I love to use. Yes, I could use a knife to slice the egg and put it in, but I love the size that it makes, it cuts the egg. So I go one way, pick up the egg, turn it the, the, the other direction, come down again, and you can see we have wonderfully sliced eggs. And what's even better is by the time we mix this, um, the two or three times we're gonna mix after we get everything in here, these eggs are gonna break up a little bit, be a little bit smaller size, and in the end, they will be absolutely perfect. Now that the eggs are in, I'm gonna mix it up. See where we are. I think that's a really good proportion of eggs to potato to veggies. And now the final step, adding the sauce. I'm gonna add about half of it and then mix it up. Well, actually that was more than half, but. I'm mixing in the rest of the sauce. It may look like there's a lot of sauce in here, but know that the, the, the potatoes are going to soak up quite a bit of it. So you're gonna want to use all of the sauce. Now for the very first taste test. I wanna see how much salt and pepper I need. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need salt and pepper. Okay, let's get in here. Oh, oh, so good. Yes, salt and pepper. Mm. 
I'm gonna mix it up and taste again. Okay, now with my additional spoon, because I'm not double dipping here, I'm gonna try after I've added the salt and pepper. Oh, absolutely perfect. So creamy. The russet potatoes were cooked perfectly. They're adding that softness and creaminess to the potato salad. The sauce with the mayonnaise and the, and the plant-based dairy-free sour cream also adding creaminess. And then you have the green pepper and the celery and the onion and the egg. Oh, I love the egg. This is just perfect. Classic potato salad. Like I said, it's potato salad season, so you've got to make this. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to 